back to the vlog. So today we're actually heading out to El Paso where they've installed my GT700 kit on a 2021 Raptor. Good customer Todd, who's been a customer since release of Cobb Access Port a couple years ago, um, has decided to ship his truck down basically and get the GT700 kit installed. And so we're gonna go down to El Paso today, get it on the dyno and tune it. I'm expecting just like all the other big turbo setups that we've done for this to make between 525 wheel horsepower and 550 wheel horsepower. And that puts it right about 200 horsepower over stock on pump gas. So he'll be running 91 or 93, I can't remember. I think 90, 93. Um, but yeah, if he decides to do ethanol, he's all set up for it since that's included in our kit and uh, at least the fueling capabilities. And so if he decides to do that, he'll make another 100 horsepower, which puts him about 300 horsepower over stock. So we're gonna head to El Paso now, get on the dyno and make some power. to calibrate the dyno. So we are going to get the ca dyno calibrated. Um, one of the things he mentioned is the update. So his truck has been here while Ford pushed out the over the air update. So we're gonna see if he's affected. So he may not have got the update. So we're gonna go ahead and start tuning this truck and see how it does. Alrighty, so we just finished up here and the truck made 534 wheel horsepower and 537 foot-pounds of torque. And so I like to say this, this kit makes anywhere between 525 and 550 and that's where we're at. So we're going to get it out on the road and see how he likes it. So we'll get right back with you guys. I know. Or it gives you just enough to test the turbos. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, this area is bad about that. Very interesting, a lot of very cool, very helpful on everything. It's turned out well. Truck runs like scald day. It's crazy. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Headed back right. to Midland now. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right. Good well. Test. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Let me know how it does on the way home. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. So as Todd just said, um, he came from West Texas and he actually flew in and he had shipped his truck previously. But what's cool is he's able to now. Uh, test the truck out as we just showed and drive it home you know and that just goes to show the consistency of this kit um you know there's no issues uh, you can just take off and head home you know a lot of guys are scared to drive things home with with some specific mods on other vehicles and but these trucks just do, do so well with uh, the consistent parts um, quality parts and of course a good tuning so that's all important um, but yeah for him to be able to, to drive home now is going to be 
Awesome. Uh, so we finished up Todd on the dyno today. Uh, he's got our GT700 kit. Um, with the Gen 3s, I get this question asked a lot. Uh, what turbos do you use? You know, are Garrett's available and whatnot? And there's very limited options with the Gen 3 at the moment. Um, we were one of the first ones to test, or the first ones to test the CRP Stage 4 turbos. That's what we made our numbers on. And we made 630 horsepower on that. There's not a whole lot out there. And so when people ask me, are the Garrett's available? No, they're not available yet. So it's very limited. Um, being one of the first people to push, you know, past 500 horsepower, uh, past 550, 600 horsepower, now into this, you know, 630 plus, uh, there's not a whole lot of resources that we can talk to about turbos, about parts. Um, the CRP Stage 4 turbos, they still use a stock compressor housing, and so the inlet's limited. It's, it's a stock housing, it's small, so it necks down. I know you guys have seen Luke. Luke Litton, he's a customer of ours. He's got a stock turbo 2022 Raptor. He was the first one to hit 11s on stock turbos. So that guy's moving. In fact, I'll, I'll play the video here. That's also a first, you know, so there's not a whole lot of information out for this Gen 3 platform yet. There's not a lot of parts developed. So if you look at the GT700 kit versus the GT750 kit, it's quite a bit different. Um, you know, there's a lot more parts in the 750 kit because there's a lot more parts available. So the fact that we were able to make 525 wheel horsepower out of the CRP Stage 4 turbos on pump gas is really pretty good. You know, that's about what we make on the GT750 kit on bigger turbos on pump gas. So, and, and we're limited, you know, on the 2021 plus. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm excited that he made those numbers. Um, I got him a, an E85 base map, so I put that on his access port form. So when he goes to Dallas this weekend, we can do some logging on E85. But these turbos are very capable. Uh, like we said, we've had them up to 630 wheel horsepower. Um, you know, Timmy in Albuquerque is another customer that was one of the first early adopters on, on this uh, GT700 kit, and he beats his truck up. Like I have videos of him in the desert, you know. Yeah, let's check these videos out. Timmy was one of the first early adopters in the GT700 kit and his truck made 630 plus as well. And so that guy beats his truck up nonstop. He's got like a thousand pounds of tools in the bed and he actually came out to a run with us not that long ago and he's just constantly on the throttle. And again, it's just consistent power. And that's exactly what we strive for. Um, I've seen posts of people making 490, you know, on stock turbos on pump gas and these turbos are very limited with airflow, stock turbos especially. Um, you're not making a whole lot over 450. You know, you, with downpipes you'll make 470, but anything anything over that just it's, it's very aggressive. And so that's not what we do. We don't we don't offer aggressive tuning like that. That's going to break your truck. Um, we offer safe, consistent power, and that's what you guys saw today. So hopefully we get more options available. Um, hopefully there's something bigger you know more airflow uh, 
at least at least the bigger uh, compressor housing, you know, exhaust housings. But I'm happy with what's available now. It does well. It spools just like stock. And I've overlaid grass before, but it spools just like stock. There's no difference. It just makes, you know, in, in the case today, I think 180 horsepower over stock, something like that. But it just, they do really well. And so I'm happy with it. So again, Todd, thank you for coming down. Thank you for shipping the, the truck down here, flying out here. Uh, it was good to meet you and your son. Um, enjoy. And when you get back home and we're able to do some ethanol tuning, I'm sure you're going to enjoy that. So thanks again.